Welcome back to the 365 mile journey with Jesus. After I complete today's hike, I'll be at about mile 90. So making good progress here toward the goal of 365 miles hiking this year. The trail's pretty muddy and I just wore like regular sneakers and I was getting them all muddy and I'm like, I'm just gonna go barefoot. I know it's February, <laughs> and but it's a warm day. Thank you for this peaceful place. I know I went out here. Things are coming back to life again for spring. I hear crickets, maybe they're frogs. I see some leaves coming out on those bushes over there. You're waking things up for spring. Wow, uh, look at this. Under this oak tree, I know I planted some daffodils some time ago, and look how they're coming up now. Wow. How many of you, when you were a child, went barefoot in the summer, in your grass, in your yard, splashing around creeks at the beach? It's like a simple pleasures of childhood. And most of us have lost that <laughs> once we've grown up. And, uh, but you know, the Lord has given us like 200,000 nerve endings on each foot. The Lord created this world to be experienced and he's given us the five senses. And there's gotta be a reason he gave us so many nerve endings on our feet. So if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see that most of the time I'm barefoot. And once you get used to it, if you go back to hiking boots, it just, it just doesn't feel the same. It just feels like you're missing something. Jesus also tells us to approach him with a childlike faith, one of innocence, vulnerability, just gentleness, humility. And uh, I don't know, I just feel when I'm out solo hiking alone, connecting with the Lord and spending time with him. I just feel more connected to him when I'm barefoot. There's something about removing those artificial boundaries that man has created through his wisdom and just being natural with God in the way he created you. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Those frogs. <laughs> Lord, I just come before you today with a childlike faith. I just put my full trust in you, Lord. Lord, I just lift up those who are watching this video today, coming along on this journey with me. Lord, I pray that they will feel your presence. I pray, Lord, that they will know it's not about religion. It's not about works. It's about resting in you and who you are and who you've made us as a new creation and uh, just walking as ambassadors in this world, as lights in the dark place. I pray, Lord, that you'll, you'll bless every person watching and help them to know what is their next step with you. Just like you're telling me step by step as I do this journey, what is the next thing I need to learn? What is the next thing I need to get rid of in my life to surrender it to you? It's a journey, it's a walk. And uh, every day and every month and every year, we should look more and more like you. Everybody's at a different part of the journey. Some of us are just getting started. Some of us have been walking with you a long time. Well, 
Lord, you just take us where we're at. You give us that next step. That's what's so amazing about you, Lord. You know each of us personally. You know what we struggle with. And you know what we, what we need next. I ask you, if you're watching, to leave a comment on this video. Let me know if the Lord has spoken to you, and what your next step is. It's going to be different for everybody. And, uh, but it's always the same motive, which is to bring you closer to the Lord. And so I'm anxious to hear your story. Please leave me a comment. Please like this video. That just tells YouTube, please show this video to more people. <laughs> this valuable content and uh, if you want to continue to follow me on this journey hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost anything but it just helps you be aware when we post new videos and help you along your journey too thank you for watching today god bless